Well, on to another matter altogether. As more than 300 artists from across the country and around the world are in Toronto this weekend, they and their creations are the big attractions at the Artists Project Exhibition. It's on at the Better Living Centre. Our Yelena Adzik is there taking this all in. Uh, you know, quite the opportunity here, Yelena. Tell us a bit more about the art, the artists, and this whole exhibit. Michael, I have to tell you on a personal note, this is one of my favorite exhibits because, like you said, artists from across the country, but also you get to meet them in person. Swing over here for a quick second and meet Stephen Hasegawa. Hello. And you can see that he's got this samurai-inspired art uh, with Japanese influences. And there are so many different types of art. Artists from across the country say hello. There we get a look at Man Wai Wu and his art. And so it is just wonderful to get to meet them in a very casual kind of way, really say hello and they talk to you about the process. We're going to talk to one artist right now and have a look at him, the man, Anad Jagarnath. Tell us a little bit about your experience here at the show. This is a man who's not just an artist. You also have other lives, which is the same with many people here. What else have you been in your life? Um, I've been a geophysicist and uh, having, having that background in science, um, I'm able to bring into my artwork and I've been doing my art full time for five years in Toronto, this amazing show, The Artist Project. Yeah, yeah. So, Anad, when you have a talk about artists overcoming yeah. challenges, you had one incredible challenge. Can you tell us a little bit about the fire that engulfed your life uh, a few years back? In um, May of 2018, uh, I was part of an art studio which housed uh, 50 artists here in Toronto. And um, everybody lost everything and the studio was destroyed by fire. And it was a very challenging time for me. And uh, this is the first time since that fire that I really feel that I'm sort of back into my rhythm as an artist here in Toronto. And um, what was really special that came out of that was that I'm also doing a graduate program to be a professional art psychotherapist. So it's amazing for the first time to sort of kind of marry the two with my art yeah. and that also new direction that it's going to take. Okay, so from geophysicist to artist to art healer, let's take a little bit of a look close up in your art because there's so much texture. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your process, if you don't mind, really quickly? So my process is so science oriented. It's a continuous building process and these pieces take anywhere from three to four to six to 12 weeks to make. And it's sort of taken that science concept of the uh, continuous geological layers and I'm translating that onto canvas and it's sort of capturing the depth, fluidity and the movement of the pieces and getting the essence from that science and putting it on canvas. Okay, so as we're here at the show, people are walking around, they're talking with you, yeah. telling you uh, how they feel about your art. What are yeah. they saying? The one thing I always get is that people, uh, people get lost in it because they can stand uh, and it brings about their own journey of self-awareness when they look at it. And um, it's really, it's always uh, very, very fulfilling when someone can just stand in it, look at it from different angles, stand back and look at it, go, go up close and look at it, and um, sort of just kind of continuously lose themselves in it. I think I find it very personally fulfilling. It's beautiful. Thank you so much for chatting with yep. us. I wish you the best Thank of luck you. for the rest of the show. Thank Michael, you. we're going to be back with other artists at the Artist Project, and uh, it's a great day, so stick around. We're going to show you more. Okay, Yelena, thank you for that. Or Yelena Adzik at the Artist Project Exhibition in Toronto.